Today on Design Line, Mary Arthur is going to tell you something she knows all about stripping. Paint, that is. Uh, and that is, well, that is the term, Mary. And it's uh, something that eventually everybody's going to run into the point where they need to do some paint stripping or cleaning. And uh, you've got something up your sleeve that's uh, pretty impressive. Yeah, well, if you're, if you're like me, you're hermetically sealed in your house right now. And of course, you've got this project, this great garage sale find that you uh, had sitting there since last May when you picked it up. And you were going to do it with good intention when the weather was good. And while You've been uh, scooping around my house. Yeah. This is pretty much right on. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. And uh, so we've all got that project. And of course, we um, are all familiar with those uh, wonderful chemical strippers that do a great job. But there's there's issues to deal with uh, in respect to that. Um, you know, if we're doing them in a in a closed setting, uh, we've got fumes to deal with. We've got allergens that we just don't want to have to deal with that. And of course, you've got all of this great equipment that you really should be donning if see, you're going to deal with those. See, there's the thing. You're right. Uh, glasses, gloves, masks should be. But I know a lot of people, <clears throat> won't name names, who know they should be using this, but just don't. If anything, maybe open the garage door, and that's about as far as it goes. Exactly. And at this time of year, you can't do that. So that project has to be set off to when the good weather comes, and we have other great things that we want to do. So uh, we were very fortunate a little while ago. Bernie Shilmore from Ecosol came to Call Your World with a wonderful product that eliminates all of these issues that we have to deal with. And it's safe, and it's wonderful, it's easy to use. And, uh, so but does it work? It that, works. That seems to be the big thing for anybody. Does it work? It absolutely works. It's a fabulous product. Okay, well, stay with us on A Channel Morning. Coming up next, we'll find out about EcoSol. Well, it almost looks like you're going to war with all this stuff, and sometimes that's what it's like when you're trying to do some paint stripping. Today on Design Line, we are at the Color Your World on Highbury Ave in North London, and a special guest, Bernie Shilmore, is with EcoSol, and what that is is a paint stripper that's very environmentally friendly, very safe to use. That almost seems like an oxymoron. Sorry for cutting you off there, but generally when you think of paint stripping, you think of all those things that you need to protect yourself and then... Uh, horrible liquid and goop and gunk that you're left with and you don't know how to get rid of it. Well traditionally that has been the case but we've developed this new product that was developed actually in Great Britain uh, called Home Strip and Graffiti Go that's 100% environmentally friendly uh, and won't cause any burns at all. You don't need ventilation. You can do this in your basement. You can do it in your living room. You can do it in your kitchen if you want. This is the stuff right here? Uh, Home Strip. Home Strip. Okay. And uh, you say it's not stinky or? Yeah. Actually it's a bit of a pleasant oh. smell too, doesn't it? It reminds me kind of, if anything, like paste from kindergarten or something. Yeah, like maybe, yeah. Paper mache yeah, paste should need it though. No, no. <laughs> no, that was that camera guy, Jeff. He ate way too much. Uh, okay, well, I'll, I'll give that to you then. And um, So basically what the product will do is it'll, it'll strip wood, it'll strip uh, some plastics, it'll strip tile, it'll strip brick, it'll strip steel, it'll strip pretty much anything and I'll pretty much any paint. Uh, I'll give you a bit of a demonstration here. Okay. What we have here is some interior latex, exterior latex, elkid, and melamine. Melamine, obviously, the uh, the tougher one to strip, but uh, this product is safe no enough. No brush? I uh, don't need a brush. Just use that. That's fine. It's that easy it's on that your It's easy, your that simple. You actually, know, when you're finished painting, you can actually use that stuff to wash your hands and get paint off. It's that, it's that safe for you. Wow. Yeah. Now, the only thing I think that people are really going to... Uh, well, obviously, they're going to care about whether or not it's environmentally friendly, but bottom line is going to be, does it work? Oh, absolutely. We'll show you here very, very quickly. Uh, not only does it work, but the disposal issues that you come up with, methylene chloride, if you're trying to strip with methylene chloride, by law, you're actually supposed to dispose of that in a, in a, in a proper uh, hazardous landfill site. Here, you just dump this down the drain or throw it in the garbage. It's quite safe. You I would it. assume, though, that you would suggest to use a brush or just doing this for dramatic effect for dramatic effect yeah sensitive. sensible people use a paintbrush but uh, I'm not, <laughs> i never was accused of being sensible there yeah. well that's something yeah fairly easy to use nice thick coating on there so if it's so easy on the skin and on the environment what exactly is it well most chemicals that you use uh, the traditional hazards type chemicals uh, actually burn the paint off or melt the paint or whatever you want to call it this product here is hydrophobic meaning it hates water, it's, the product is the water base itself. Being hydrophobic, what happens when you take it out of the jar and you slap it on the paint, 
the molecules in the, in the uh, product itself want to do everything they can to get out of the water, thus attacking the paint. Oh, okay, so that's what yeah. it's doing. And it won't affect your skin because you're 90% water, right? So it's not going to affect you. The only thing I can say is I don't see a lot happening yet. You won't see anything happening, and actually you won't see it bubbling, fizz, and everything like, yeah. like that with the uh, has chemicals. It'll take uh, anywhere from 15 minutes to, in some cases, overnight. Uh, and, and it'll be... But, you know, kind of depending on the paint, how much paint is on there. Yeah. All Oops. right. On Mary's floor there. Well, we'll take a quick right break, we'll go. We'll go. and yeah. when we come back, uh, this will have had a chance to work, and we'll uh, see the results from the eco solvent. And you're also going to show us the uh, graffiti. graffiti go. We'll spray a little graffiti on here if you've got some some time now. The graffiti remover will, will remove uh, again pretty much anything off most surfaces. Uh, what we have here is some steel, and we have uh, a tile, and what we have on here is permanent marker, lipstick, and crayon. We're just going to spray a little bit of that graffiti. We come back right on Design Line. That before you know that it can be a nasty, nasty, dirty job. Well, not so much now. Uh, I'm with Bernie Shilmore, who has this uh, home strip. We are at Color Your World on Highbury Ave in North London, and this paint stripper. Is you say some people even use it as nail polish remover. It's so easy on your hands. Yeah, it does actually. My wife uses a nail polish remover. Uh, the product works good in everything. It works good in wood. Works good on metal. Works good on some plastics. All you want to check the plastics. Uh, it'll work good on brick, cement, pretty much any substance that has paint on it. And it has uh, a nice, nice fragrance to it. It's not. Yeah, actually, it's it's, it's good. It's uh, almost a sweet smell. It's certainly not vapors that are going to knock you off your. Uh, off your feet. No, like I said earlier, you can use this in your basement, in your kitchen, wherever you want to use it. Uh, and then the other nice thing about it is, from an environmental point of view, you can dispose of stuff right in your garbage can. You don't need to take it to a hazardous site. It's 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 that good. Uh, you can remove the product with a scraper, uh, stainless steel scouring balls, uh, scotch brite pads, paint stripping pads. Uh, pretty much anything. You'll need something like that when you're working around a corner in a beveled area or something right. like that. But just for our flat surface here, a scraper is probably pretty good. Uh, we'll start with the uh, interior latex. is one of the substances we've uh, surfaces we tried. Whoa, look and at that. I'll take it right off. Oh, man. Now that material is about three coats uh, of paint, a primer underneath, and uh, with two coats of the, uh, of the interior latex. That's on wood. And then we'll try it again on tile. And that's just one application of the home strip. That is. That's right. I know yep. quite often when you're paint stripping, you have to layer after layer after layer. That's just one quick application. Yeah, what I try to do here is just kind of illustrate. We put plastic on half of this paint. And what we're trying to illustrate is that if the paint doesn't come off right away, if it's very, very thick, uh, it's going to take more than 15 minutes or half an hour to take off. Right. In some cases, it might take overnight to take the paint off. So as long as you cover it in plastic, keep the product wet, it'll, it'll keep working. So you can leave that overnight. And then scrape it in the morning, and it'll just come sure, right off. Sure, it'll come right off. So it's really nice. Good. Yeah, uh, paints react different ways. But this again, will work kind of with a water-based or oil-based. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, just pretty much any paint you've got, it'll it'll do the job. Uh, Melamine is obviously the tougher of the of the four paints. We'll see how it does. It looks like it's come right off there. Oh, that is remarkable. The, the melamine on bathroom tiles. Uh, Great product for bathroom tiles that Muriel explained to you about, but uh, you know, just uh, oh. yeah, comes right off. <laughs> it's been... Yeah, okay, look at that, just jumps right off oh, there. That and is so like cool. This. And I just can't get past the fact that there's nothing corrosive in it yeah. in the sense that it's it's not harmful to the that's, environment. Yeah, that's the uh, the great thing about the product. It's uh, uh, and then just, this is steel. Just, just flying just, off there. Just kind of jumps right off of there. That is fantastic stuff. And then that's just f for the paint in the house. You've also got the uh, the graffiti go. Uh, I find that it is uh, fairly comparable to um, other more nasty products that we may have to use, and uh, or some in some cases a little less costly. Well, plus the other thing to factor into that equation is. <laughs> 